Hello, this is um, sort of part two of my Koi Pond build. Um, although there's not actually a lot going on with the build today because I'm waiting for bits and pieces to arrive. So I thought I would give you um, a bit of an insight into how it all started really this time round and to actually show you the fish that, uh, that we have at the moment. So um, back in February um, through boredom or whatever I just decided I wanted a, a couple of koi fish to, to keep inside and grow on so we ended up buying seven um, tiny little koi fish off uh, eBay and we kept them inside for a couple of months but um, forgetting how quickly koi fish grow so we then decided to buy a very small sort of one of these ornamental pond kits um, so if you um, take a look at uh, what we put them in, in sort of April, end of April, beginning of May. That's uh, a Blagden Affinity Grand Octagon Pool. So that, it's a kit basically, it comes complete with a, an Impon 5 in one 3000 pump UV and filter. Um, and it's, it's only about 150 gallons, about 7000 litres. As the pond uh, started to mature and the fish started to grow, which you'll see that they have shortly, um, I bought a Pond Pontec Pondo Press 5000 filter set, so that's a, a very small pressure filter, and put that in. Um, and before long, to be honest, just before we've um, we've whipped them out for the winter, I ended up buying an, o an Oasis Clear Pond 18. So that was a you know a proper black box filter with an 18 watt UV and a small pond pump. So I'll um, I'll put some pictures on now to show you what it was uh, what it was actually like in the summer, and then I'm going to take you to show you where the fish are now and what their current setup is. So as it uh, started getting to winter, we've got some really beautiful fish now. These You won't believe how these fish have grown. Um, so, you know, there was a bit of a dilemma what to do with them. The new pond's obviously not going to be ready for a few weeks. It's starting to get cold uh, and there's no depth to that little pond. So uh, there was one obvious answer and that was <laughs> to bring them into the house. So here's the fish and this is their current setup, which we're going to keep them in over winter. So as you can see, or hopefully you can see, they are fairly huge. It's, it really is unbelievable how they've grown. Um, I, I can't even believe it myself, but this is a 150 gallon quarantine tank that I've just set up with the Blagden um, filter that was outside on the other pond. Um, all the electrics just literally lifted and dropped from outside into here. Uh, and I've also bought a Sibo one kilowatt pond heater so hopefully you can see this here really really simple to um, set up it's set at um, 17 degrees at the minute and to be honest it hasn't come on yet I, I keep testing it to make sure it is actually working but um, it maintains the heating here really well um, and this is it so this is where they'll stay till the winter no doubt I'll um, I'll have a dilemma when the new pond's set up hopefully by the end of November or December but I think the plan at the moment is to keep these in here over winter and then um, you know we'll start again properly in the summer so that's it that was just a short video um, and hopefully the next one I'll post will be actually uh, pond building so enjoy the fish and I'll speak to you soon